What's up, YouTube? Back again, and I've been itching for some 8 casts. I've been working on building this deck in paper, uh, so I went on to the interwebs to try and find a list that just kind of tantalized my taste buds. Uh, and the list I'm going to play for you is by one Yanagisawa Yuta uh, that took this to a second place finish in the legacy of the March of the Machines collector's booster box winning championships. <laughs> a small tournament in Japan. And uh, I love Painter. I love 8-cast. And so we're just going to go right into this deck and waste no time whatsoever. Don't mind the background. We got a baby due in May. And uh, our bookshelf was recently relocated to the nursery to be cubbies for extra sorting in the nursery. So, uh, y'all don't read anyway. <laughs> Let's go to the deck tech. So, this is an eight cast shell with a painter kicker. And so uh, for those of you that do not know, eight cast uh, is built around thought cast and thought monitor. Thought cast from way back in the day, affinity for artifacts, four and a blue, draw two cards. Typically go with the deck, just turn this into a one blue draw two. Uh, and then thought monitor, a little bit harder to get out with six and a blue. Still affinity for artifacts. It comes with a body as a two, two flyer. And also when it enters battlefields, you draw two cards. So these can help us churn through our deck and uh, play out all of our spells. To help uh, facilitate this, we have a lot of cheap artifacts. We got Lotus Petal and Mox Opal for ramp, alongside Mishra's Bobble for more diggy 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 action just to get through the deck. For Ancient Tomb as well, uh, and for Seed of the Cyanot to help push our Mox Opal into action. We are an Urza Saga deck, so we do also have an Urza Saga package, mainboard package, uh, is all we have. We're not going to be sideboarding in any package or whatnot, but we can sideboard some of these out if they end up not being relevant. But we got Soul Guide Lantern from Graveyard Hate. Reanimator is like huge right now. Shadow Spear is an extra kitcher. Way to gain life with our Urza Saga, make a duder, pump it, smack it, gain that life. Pithy Needle for a catch all. Haywire Mire for anything really that we need to remove. Notably, we'll have to have one of our Lotus Petals or Mox Opals to activate it. But in a pinch, just gaining two life by blocking it can be relevant. And then Aether Spell Bomb. Um, show and tell is still pretty prevalent. Um, a giant Murktide might be trying to race you out and you can just pop her back in the hand. Uh, Painter combo, if you've never seen this before, this is uh, basically the main win condition of the deck beyond Urza Saga Construct tokens. Painter's Avant says, as it enters, choose a color. All cards that aren't on the battlefield, uh, spells and permanents are chosen color in addition to uh, other colors. And you basically just pick a color and we'll name blue for the most part, uh, for force of will's sake, we'll get to that. And then you activate grindstone, pay three, tap, target player mills two cards. If two cards uh, share a color that were milled this way, you repeat the process. So if the painter's in play, all cards are basically the color of choice, you mill their entire deck out. And uh, that's how you can just finish the game. Uh, with Soul Guide Lantern as a way to stop any shuffle in the deck effects like your Ember Cruels. Um, we do typically name blue. This way, all of our artifacts in our hand are blue, and we can pitch them to the Force of Will for a little extra value. Beyond that, um, the rest is just sideboard talk, and this is um, Yuda's sideboard that they played, so I don't have the full sideboard deck plan, which kind of just fall in here and see what happens. Um, but we got some notable all-stars and Hydro Blast Blue Oath Mess. We're facing against a red deck that really matters. We can pop those in. Hercules Recall for the Mirror. Uh, Force of Negation for the combo control decks uh, that we really need to have that piece to push through or to stop them. Mostly it's just to stop uh, Storm or any other combo deck that we're going to face against. Kappa, Cannoneer as an alternate win condition as a beat stick. We got Dismembers for creatures, Chalice the Voids for one drops that matter more than our one drops. Um, also decent against Storm, been seeing a good chunk of that. And then Containment Priest because, again, we're seeing so much Reanimator these days, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's basically the list. Again, notably with the Containment Priests, we are only able to cast that off of our Petal or our Opal. And I guess also we have Spire Industry as well. Uh, so those are our colored sources beyond blue for the deck. The final piece, uh, I guess I forgot to mention, Emery Lurker the Lock. It's just the glue that holds this sandwich together. 
um, being able to replay our painter pieces from the yard, uh, dig deep, bobble every turn, so on and so forth, thought cast from the yard, stuff like that. But that's the extensive deck tech. Let's get into the games and have some fun. Wait! Before you get into the gameplay, make sure you hit that follow, hit that like, hit that subscribe button for both YouTube and Twitch. Now, since this is me from the future and I've seen all the games happen and what goes where, I highly suggest watching round four. If you only have time to watch one, round four is a great um, exhibition of the entire deck and what all I can do. And it really milks the clock so you get a full, full match effect out of it. So yeah, with that being said, enjoy the games. Okay, match one against one Arc4N. I believe Arc4N played Control last time I faced them. Uh, Mulligan or Nah? They have chosen to play first and keep their hand. We have a relatively fine hand. Um, we'll be able to cast most of our spells relatively quickly. Uh, turn one, we can go... Seed of the Cyanod, Mox, Opal, Mishra's Bobble. Uh, this costs three less because we have three artifacts. Thought Cast, we can leave up Metallic Rebuke. This hand is okay. We do need to dig for like some action of sorts, but this hand can play. Let's see what our opponent's up. To these days, Street Wraith, interesting. I have this weird neck pain. It's more like a muscle being sore. Fluted Strand. Street Wraith typically means Doomsday, uh, but we could also be playing against Death Shadow. I don't know if Archon, or like Arc 4N has even played Death Shadow in, in a while. Okay, well we drew Force of Will, that can be uh, relevant. Our opponent plays a Ponder, and they chose to Shuffle. I think that they are on Death Shadow. So I am going to just thought cast here. So we go C to the Cyanod, Mishra's Bobble, Mox Opal, and we're just gonna thought cast. Just go thought cast. We got Force of Will, uh, a couple more pieces. Uh, we can go ahead and throw down Mishra's Bobble. Uh, we'll go ahead and check what our opponent's doing here. One polluted delta on the top of the deck. And we'll go ahead and pass the turn there. Next turn, we can use Ancient Tomb to cast our Thought Monitor if we want to. We drew a Thought Cast with our Bubble. All right, I mean, there's a reason the deck says eight cast. I mean, we're planning on casting a lot of these. All right, Brainstorm, sure. I have another drink of my Dr. Pepper. Hey, Dr. Pepper. I'm gonna leave this other Misha's Bobble in play for now. Just for artifact's sake. Brainstorm it passes. Emery. Emery's kinda nice. Uh, Alright, let's count, let's count our mana here. Uh, if we play Emery, Emery just costs one. Ancient Tomb, three. We'll have one, two, three artifacts in play and three mana, so we can Thought Cast, and I guess we'll be able to leave up Metallic Rebuke. Sure, I'm, I'm game. Let's start with uh, Emery. See what happens for us. Feeling this league is going to involve a lot of counting. Lotus Petal, Grindstone, okay. All right, so, and peace, and peace. Ah! Uh... Could just seat thought cast. Very well could. Yeah, I'm gonna hold back on the ancient tomb for now. Let's thought cast. And there's a painter. Okay. Cool. So now mana wise, we'll be able to replay grindstone. So do we have six mana? One, two, three, four, five. Draw any of our free mana, we will. Um, otherwise, Emery itself is not an artifact. 
One, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll just end the turn here. Okay. So we got Force of Will. And in a couple of turns, we'll be able to paint your combo as long as Emery lives. But if Emery doesn't live, a couple more turns down the road, we can Urza Saga. <sighs> Do I have to fear Snuff Out? So at that point, we could just name Black, and I think that's what I would do in this instance. So now Snuff Out can't target our painter? Okay, fetch. The Underground Sea. Sure. A street wraith. Wraith, Snuff out has been played, and now I'm assuming death shadows. Neck hurts. There's a deathy boy. Passes the term. Okay, beautiful. A spell bomb. All right, uh, we're gonna Urza Saga. We're going to... Painter on black. This will stop another snuff out from being able to do things. Then we'll Aether Spellbomb to perhaps bounce this Death Shadow. Saving this Force of Will for something that disrupts the combo because we're going for combos. I want to deep the tank on this Painter Savant. <laughs> Constructs to at least chump block the Death Shadows until we can combo off. They are like deep in the tank. Like, you can't go deeper in the tank than they are. You just can't. Just can't do it. Just can't do it. Maybe else is neck hurt or is it just me? Seems just like a little spasm thing here. I think. Thinky dinky, do I want to leave up Metallic Rebuke? I think I do. Yes, I do. Yes. Counter the Force of Will. Bye bye, Thought Monitor. Okay. Painter comes down, we're gonna name Black. So this way, Snuff Out can't kill our Painter, and then play a Spell Bomb. So we can bounce the Shadow if we need, or we can counter a Spell. If I was just taking a Tiddly Bonk from the Death Shadow this turn. It's fine. No bucks. I'll take seven. Life is a resource. Follow-up play is... Cabal. <laughs> a murky? A murky? So, do I care about Murktide? Murktide's kind of annoying. 
Yeah, I guess we'll counter that. Tide, get out of here. Don't want you to be able to like race us here. Oh, just the grindstone? Huh. Neat. Alright, well, ancient tomb. Grindstone. Activate. Activate grindstone. Mill you out. Sometimes you just top deck things, and uh, that's how it goes. Now they could be playing Stifle, so that's something to consider. All right, now with the sideboardings, uh, against our opponent, uh, Chalice of the Void is fine, and Kappa Cannoneers is fine. They're going to be dealing a lot of damage themselves, so we can help push through the last bit. <clears throat> Metallic Rebuke seems a little unnecessary. So I can go down the Metallic Rebukes. And then one more final piece, probably Haywire Might. Uh, Pithy Needle doesn't have a lot of names, honestly. So we could see going down Pithy Needle for something else. Shadow Spear, Soul Guide Lantern, and Aether Spell Bomb all play. But uh, we could go down the Pithy Needle and, like, pop up back one. Metallic Rebuke. Except it plays, it does things. But uh, I think uh, I think that's where we're at. We'll uh, we'll slap it back like that. Slap it, slap it back like that. And then we'll just have to be careful. Playing Chalice on one means we'll have to use Urza Saga to get Grindstone in play. But we also have Kappa Cannon here. It's just an alternate win condition. Kappa Cannoneer with Ward 4, pretty strong, although with Snuff out, it is still possible that our opponent can kill it. They just have to have 4 mana in play. But if they're going to continue to just keep dealing damage themselves so they can play a Death Shadow, Kappa Cannoneer might only have to attack once. So that's why it, that's why the cap comes in. The cap. But our opponent is also thinking, figuring out what should they do against us? Thinking about different fun uh, combo builds uh, on stream a little bit ago. Definitely check the stream replays. Himreko MTG. We do stream on Twitch every Wednesday. Plug in while we're waiting. Uh, we played a show and tell helm combo called it show and helm and that was a super hype and just jank league so uh there, there's something for you to hunt for and just search back through my replays but it's game time uh here is a turn one emery perhaps a pretty fast kappa you can keep this arc is also keeping we'll give them the full floor Watery Grave to Thought Seas. Oh, just passes. All right, well, we'll go Seat, Petal, Mishra's Bobble, Emery. Emery lands, Mills. Uh, there's a Painter. Cool. Uh, I'm not gonna just spend my Petal like that, so we'll just pass the turn. See what our opponent has for us. Three more life loss. Sure. Snuffy. It's fine. It's fine. Fetches. Shocks. Plays a little itty bitty death channel. One small boy. Thought sees. It's a little annoying. Takes the thought cast. Okay, cool. Into and Death Shadow. All right. Back over here. We draw Chalice of the Void. Um. 
If we play Spellbomb first, take a bonk, one more turn of them being able to cast one drops though. Alright, here's here's the rub. Play a spellbomb. Chalice on one. We have a lot of artifacts. Any land, any zero cost. A daze on the chalice. Okay. Sure. That is acceptable. So now we need a soul land. Taken six. Painter. Hard cast. Days. No, no. Days bounce land. All right. Well, you know. If you hit, you good. Puts us a little bit too far behind, but there's always game three, and we get to go first. A relatively fast deck. I feel like they would struggle with the Urza's Saga Soul Land start, so we still have that in our pocket. Yep, take eight. Now six. Max Opal cast. Still not enough to play Kappa Cannon here, um, but we can bounce this uh, Death Shadow. So we have that going for us. Give us one turn. All right, since we need a couple draws, Wasteland. Okay. Ancient Tomb. Could have cast Kappa, but we're a little bit behind there. All right, let's go to game three. And let's just show them whomst is boss. Whomst, indubitably, is boss. Wasteland's pretty good against us. So we do have to keep that in mind. How about a goldfish? How about a, a nice, juicy, juicy, woosy goldfishy? Sip of the Diet Dr. Pepper. To have lunch after this league, but first we play, then we eat. I do got these donuts next to me though, but I've already had like a few of them this morning, and I don't want to eat too many donuts. <laughs> so we'll just uh, practice self control. Opponent not seeing Kappa the first time maybe is sideboarding accordingly to deal with Kappa Cannoneer. Um, because game one, they just saw really painter combo just thrown in. Probably. Probably. I believe I have like 90% of this deck. I just need to buy the painter servants and the grindstones. <laughs> in paper, that is. So we'll see how we'll see how well it does. We'll see. I think I'm currently um working my way towards red-white initiative. Get some window to stop me going. Also need three more Helm of Obediences, so if you want to throw some love at your boy, some Helm of Obediences would be nice. But it's a whole year before my next birthday. They're deep in the tank. They might also be just going to the bathroom, so you get to listen to me ramble. Listen to Below what's your favorite legacy deck right now? Because I'm always looking for more suggestions. 
And if you want to make me play a deck, uh, join our patronage. Patreon.com forward slash HimrackGoMTG. Uh, our tier three Patreons, $5. That's all it costs, $5. So it's an insanely deal. You get to submit a deck tech. We will do the deck tech, and then I'll play it through a league. And if it has a winning record, you either win the chests, or if you don't have an MTGO account slash don't want chests, we will mail you whatever the most recent standard set, set boosties, uh, half the chests rounding up. Because I think a chest is like worth half a pack. So if that's something that interests you, you want to control two hours of our stream, maybe even three, depending on the deck you choose, uh, join our Patreon. Maybe win some stuff. Five dollars, great deal. Plus, of course, all the other stuff that you get for being our Patreon. All right. Yes, we would like to go first. Um... A turn one, Chalice of the Void on one, and then nothing. Don't think we can keep this. We'll mulligan. It's a little mana light. Eesh. This could be a fast Kappa, so I guess this is a keep. All four, uh, all four of our Mox Opals. Okay. Is this a turn one Kappa? One, two, three. Four, five. As long as they don't have a force of will, so turn one Kappa Cannon here. Or no, because we have to put uh, put one of these away. So one, two, three, four, five. Not a turn one Kappa Cannon here. But it's not a bad start. Just gotta draw our action is all. Any artifact that we can uh, slap Kappa. Could be a turn two Kappa. We'll keep this one, throw back a Mox Opal. These Moxes will turn into Lotus Petal, basically. Mox Opal. Mishra's Bubble. And I guess I am gonna crack this because we do need to draw some more actions. Top card of our opponent's deck is... Snuff out. Cool. Okay. We draw. We draw. Opponent's got a stern upkeep stop for us. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a fine draw. Street Wraith, sure. Classic Death Shadow Start. Flooded Strand, all right. Watery Grave, down to 15, into Thorsies. Thorsies. Okay. Probably takes Kappa. Yep. Okay. They're at 13 and we have like practically nothing, so we need our deck to be sweet. It's a pretty good draw. <laughs> pretty good draw. Okay. So now we just need our painter. We can name black to turn off the snuff. They know our full hand, so we have nothing to keep up. Might as well just... Scoop. Passes into a pedal. Okay. There's a, there's a pedal. Pass his turn. Ooh, the new fairy mastermind. Sure. Wasteland. Yeah. Energy Flux. Oh, we just lose to that. We just, we just straight up lose to that. Good old Energy Flux. Um, yeah, we do not have the second blue spell. We have to sacrifice everything. We can mill a little bit, but then we have 
no plays. Yeah, I'm just gonna concede to that. Woo! Woof. Took it to game three. All right, let's go to match two. Match two time. Alrighty. Back with match two against Alessio, Alessio, Alessio C. Want to die roll? So uh, yeah, we'd love to go first. Thank you for asking. Let's see what we got here. Uh, we got a turn one painter servant. Uh, into a couple extra other pieces. We can draw cards off of Soul Guide Lantern. Does not have the blue source, but we do get a couple draws to find it. I'm gonna believe. I'm gonna believe in this hand. I'm gonna believe in this hand. We'll go Ancient Tomb. We'll go Mishra's Bobble. And then uh, we'll go Painter's Servant. And in a vacuum, we just name blue. Alessio got them some uh, forces. Some forcey warsies. Okay, forces. Uh, okay, we got the mirror match. <laughs> Very interesting. Oh, yeah. Uh, go ahead and bobble ya. See where the top card is. See to the cyanide. Okay. Best turn there. So, get a couple draws here. Try to find a blue source. Another bobble. I'll be redraw again later. Let's see what our opponent's start is. The known seat. A bobble. A Mox Opal, a Bobble, into Thoughtcast. All right, well, they had the better start, that's for sure. Emery, sheesh. Okay, Gucci. All right, Bobbles takes a peekaboo, sees what's up. Sees what's up with them. All right, they're ready to just draw a bunch of cards. Okay. Draw for turn, draw for bobble, draw for bobble. We hit another painter servant. I mean, in for a penny, in for a pound. Here's another painter servant. We will name. Honestly, at this point, we don't want to name blue per se because that also turns their force of wills a little bit stronger uh and we may need to cast a friend so we're going to name green yeah we name green all right misha's bubble look at these beautiful simic cards gorgeous all right we'll go ahead and just pops we're digging uh, they're gonna draw a Lotus Petal. Cool. And they can replay Chalice of the Void? Which might end up being what they do. Let's just play Chalice on one so that I can't hard cast my... Grindstone. Ooh, that's more mana. Okay. And then we can use... I guess we can't cast Haymar Might if that happens, so... Sure. Well, now if we just draw a grindstone and they don't go Chalice of the Void, we just have the clean in. If they don't have counter magic as well. The bobble. Okay. Looks at me. What do you see? Tell me. Like a blue source. Urza's Saga. Pedal. Stuffs of that nature's. Okay. Seat to the cyanide is green. Tell me more. Whoa. 
What do we got? Big pause. All right, Emery to play Mishra's Bobble. Interesting, okay. Mishra's Bobble has been played. Diggy, 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 diggy. Double check the top of my deck again. Lotus Petal, okay. Ends the turn. Dope. They draw a couple cards again. We draw a Thought Cast. Well, we don't have blue yet, so I'm just gonna go ahead and play Ancient Tomb. Play a Soul Guide Lantern. We'll target the Chalice of the Void because it's the most annoying. Chalice of the Void. Then, do we want to pop the lantern? Not yet, I don't think. There's a haywire mine. Is my haywire mite too scary? Does it put the fear in you? All right, then we'll go to combat. Attack. Put that pressure on him. Target their yard, and then we'll pop the Soul Guide Lantern to exile the yard. So many cards in their hand. So many cards in their hand. They just got so many decisions. I'm over here like, I can't do nothing until I draw blue. Response. Like sell your yard. Slow down their little draw engine there. Thought cast. Their hand be thick. This is the, uh, the illusion of decision. Any blue source, I'm a, I'm a happy camper. Give me my seat of the Synod. I'll settle for a Mox Opal. I wanna cast spells too. What if we can get there just by attacking with Painter's Ravant and Haywire Might? Uh, this is why we're playing the relaxing lo-fi, just to Remember to call. Welcome to my ASMR channel. Chalice on one. Alright. Haywire Might's already in play though, so. Any of our opals or things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Draw your cards. Stonewalled. Okay. The dead what? Just go ahead and click through the turn. No, uh, no holding up things now. Just let them make their decisions. Decide what they, uh, what they want to do. Hey, Urza Saga. That's pretty good. Cast. Urza Saga. And can't really do anything else. So we'll just pass your turn. Pester. So eventually this Urza Saga can get us our grindstone. Can also, in a pinch, I guess, get us a Mox Opal so that we can get rid of Chalice of the Void. Alright, Emery to, to load up. 
Adawara. Okay. Not the best mill. Woo, just had the chills. Is it cold all of a sudden? Another ember. Yeah. You are the filtration master, Scythopterist. Okay, so they are just old-fashioned eight cast. We are the painter cast. Yeah. <laughs> Hello there. All the Emery's Urza's bobble, their saga, cool. All right, so they found an Urza's bobble, so they can start doing more drawy things. Ancient tomb, okay. Yeah. What just happened? Okay, here comes the Kappa Cannoneer. So it comes down to, can they kill us before we can kill them? Okay. An Urza's Saga, okay. Play Urza's Saga. I don't think they can, but uh, we'll see what happens. I don't think we can make a duder, uh, and I don't think our duder matters. And I don't think they can deal 14 damage to us. We win next turn. Okay, bobble happens. Okay. Kappa gets big. Kappa does grow. Pedal, Kappa Gross. Okay. It's nine damage. Okay, takes the peekaboo. They need to have a they need to have like a brazen bar, and sometimes they do play one or two brazen bars. Um their Otawara is already gone. They only play one Otawara. Spell bomb, four mana, five mana, another kappa? Yeah, this is uh, this is another kappa cannon here. So they can deal 10 damage. Just another chalice of the void on one, okay. So 10 damage. Okay. No blocks. Go to four. End of the turn. Baba goes off, they draw. Basically, brazen borrower bust. Grab ourselves a grindstone. Just activate the grindstone. Cool. All right. We had a really slow start there, but um, it, it worked out. So here we get to bring in the Hercules recalls. Um, don't really think anything else. Like we could bring in the dismembers for an opposing Emery, but I think it's literally just Hercules recall. And uh, it's probably good enough. So, Hercules Recall comes in. I don't think we're bringing in the Kappa Cannoneers. We race in a different way. We race in a different way. And then we will go down. What do we want to go down? 
Pithy Needle's relevant, Soul Guide Lantern's relevant, Haywire Might is relevant, Shadow Spear is kind of relevant, a little less relevant, but still relevant. Uh, spell Bomb... Probably go down the Spell Bomb. Spell Bomb is like, kind of mid. Uh, and then I'll just go down one Metallic Rebuke. And we'll run away that. Submit deck. Submit deck. Another sip of the Dr. Pepper. Let's see if they have the uh, Hercules Recall as well. Fantastic card. Modern All-Star, like eight years ago. Got my guinea pigs over to the side here. If you ever watch the stream, uh, above me I have a guinea pig cam. And uh, you'll be able to see both of my guinea pigs. Extra incentive for you to stop by and say hi while we're live. Game time. Um, this hand is, uh, this hand is okay. This hand is okay. So turn one, we play out all of this jazz, and then we can start thought casting follow-ups. They have Mule again. Double check our math here. So play everything. Yeah, I think this hand is keepable. It's not like a crazy hand, but I think it's keepable. Be able to turn two into some thought casts. Draw some cards. Okay. All right, Alessio. Game two. Mulling uh, in uh, eight casts is a little bit tricky. Uh, very much a resource dependent deck. So you kind of want to lean into a more heavy hand. All right, Emery. Urza's Bobble, Thought Monitor, Thought Cast, classic. Sure, just classic. We draw an Urza's Saga. That is interesting. Let's do that. We have Urza Saga. Soul Guide Lantern. We'll eat their bobble. Play our bobble. Play our pedal. And we'll just go ahead and pass the turn there. All right. Yep, get yourself a pedal. It's fine. Ancient Tomb. Taps, untaps. Okay, casts. Thought cast. All right, so they're 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 digging. They are digging. Okay. We draw. Oh, fantastic draw. Fantastic draw. All right, we we'll go. Spire of Industry. The Opal. Ah. Uh, we lose our pedal. What I choose to throw pedal away for a thought cast. We might just draw another one. Thought cast. The grindest of stones. Um, we're just gonna Urza Saga here. Just a simple Urza Saga. Their own Urza Saga, sure. So we're gonna get a Pithing Needle, the name Urza Saga. 
pedal, huh? Okay. Use the yard. Taps, untaps, retaps, untaps, taps. Decide time. It's gonna be opponent. It's gonna be. Taps. Shadow Spear. Okay. Taps. Emery. Okay. Refill. Emery is going to hit Haywire Might. It's pretty decent. And a bobble and the spell bomb. Spell bomb's pretty good. Alright, got our end step here. Create a friend. Go to our turn here. Create a friend. And I think I'm just going to pithing to an Urza Saga. I think I'm gonna pithing needle. Urzas. Are we gonna pithing needle Urza Saga? Are we gonna pithing needle Emery? I think we're gonna pithing needle Emery. Do, 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 do. Pithing needle. Pithing needle Emery. And then we'll go Seat of the Synod. One, two, three, four, five, six. There is a thought monitor. Draw a couple cards. All right, there's the combo with a force of will kicker. Cool. Wins the match. <laughs> so yeah, we just kind of overran there. Um, and I think honestly having the painter combo helps the mirror because we just have an extra angle of how to win the game. So, all right, that's one and one. See you all in match three. All right, so. Back for a match three against a Willy, Will I, Will I one, four, three. Uh, lost the die roll, we are so good at that. They've kept their opening seven and we have this hand. Uh, potentially turn one, Painter Servant with Force of Will backup. And that's about it. This hand seems a little bit poo poo, so we're gonna mulligan. Uh, this hand is pretty close to um, a goldfish, so we'll keep this. Uh, I'm gonna throw back the shadow spear, and we'll see what uh, see what we can do. All right, will I one four three? I don't know. Will I? All right, we'll just pass through here. Give them the liberty. Ooh, an ancient tomb into a pass. Okay, we draw a bobble. Does that change our plans? I don't think so. It's gonna be Seed of the Synod, um, Mishra's Bobble, Grindstone. Okay. I'm playing a little bit extra cautious here with this Urza Saga. We could have gone Urza Saga turn one and then turn two, Paint or Servant, turn three, get mana off of the Urza Saga. Um, but we would still need to hit a third mana source for that to work. Uh, and uh, I want to perhaps get a little extra value out of our Urza Saga. Cave of Chaos. Alright, so we're playing against Initiative. I feel like we're a little bit better than Initiative. They have some strong sideboard cards. But uh, we'll see what we can do here. Planes. Alright, Red White. Ooh, could be the Winota build. I think. All right, we'll go to us. We'll draw a blue source would be banging. I guess technically a soul land would be banging. Yeah, that's what we want. We want soul land. So we can soul land to Servant, leave up Metallic Rebuke. 
and then the following turn, um, do things. I'm just gonna go ahead and play here. Opponent pauses. Alright, we'll just throw out an old painter servant here. Try to just floop our way into things here. We're gonna name Blue. Fake the thought. Fake the thought. No, words. Have you ever had a dream? No, I'm burping. Fake the force of will. Eek. Frontal. Okay. Here comes Le Boncus. Ow, 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 ow. Eldrazi Displacer. Sure, makes sense. No blocks. Come on, Mana Source. Looking for a Mana Source. It's what we need. Solitude. All right, well, we got another Painter, so that just gives us another turn. Go ahead and bubble you. Chalice of the Void's coming up. Okay. Sure. Gain some life there, for what it's worth. Eldrazi Displacer. Yep. Okay. Back to us. Draw a couple cards here. Bobble draw first. Um, that's pretty decent, honestly. All things considered. Um, ancient tomb. Painter savant. Back to blue. Okay, so things got trampled, right? And this is all, all dumbed up. Uh, they're gonna go trap next. We're gonna go to seven. They attack. I think we need to just play the second painter because otherwise we're forced to jump here. Um, or even alternatively, they can just Displacer our Painter. So we do need to just play the other Painter Savant here. Uh, black. Everything's, everything's gold. All right. So now, we just need to survive with either two, we don't even need two life because we can get uh, a mana. So we just need to survive. If we survive here, we can win. Survive and have both of our painters. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. If they hit another white source, we're in trouble because we're just dead. Yep, here comes the trap. Actually, we are just dead if they time it right because we can block and then them exile in response to the block. Because of trample damage. And we can't double block to get around that because we lose our painter. So we need them not to see the line. Attacks with both. Oh, because this stops three. So we do we just have to block with both anyway. Uh 
so that means we need to top deck our last painter. And our opponent not have the mana up. Okay. Well, we have to double block because otherwise we take Xaxes. But all I have to do is um, flicker a painter. All right, they don't. They leave up the ability to flicker. Big brain, cabin of souls, sure. Three mana human. Okay, so I just named his painters of and I'm pretty sure I'm locked out. Maybe distract them with a thought cast, but they had us dead on board there. Chalice of Void on zero. Oh, that's right, activated abilities go up, so it's now cost five to activate. Okay, we'll go ahead and concede the game there. Okay. Begin sideboards. Playing against the initiative. Playing against the initiative. I don't think we have, like, a ton for this. Like, we'll bring in the dismembers. But that's probably about it. Force negation doesn't quite do it. Like, we can force negate their mana rampage, but don't think that's how we want to spend our spells. And I don't think we're Kappa Cannoneering, because we're definitely not racing. So I think it's just Dismember. And what's bad? The counter spells are actually decent in this matchup. Uh, Pithing Needle. Probably bad. Aether Spellbomb plays, but it's not the best thing in the world. Haywire Might can get rid of a pesky Chalice of the Void. Um, I think it's just a Metallic Rebuke. Alright, we'll submit the deck like that. Yes, I would like to go first. Game two. This hand doesn't have blue mana, does have Force of Will to stop their first situation. Also a Dismember with a bomb. This hand, we can cycle Ither Spell Bomb to try and draw more things. All right, we'll try it. We have we have we have spells that we can cast and we can do things. We have the potential of gold fishing. All right, there's an ancient tomb. Ancient tomb. We'll play a grindstone and a spell bomb. Then we'll pass the turn. See what they do. Got this force of will, a planes. All right, they have a modest start, but I guess ours is two. Bobble. Okay, we'll cast Bobble. And look at ourselves. Opal. Okay. So that means we don't crack the spell bomb to draw. And we'll pitch thought casts. Alright. Bubble pops, we draw a card. Baby bottle pops. Alright. Leave up force of will. Ancient Tomb for... Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Say no to that. Back to us. All right, we'll go Mox Opal. Cast an Emery. Haywire Might's pretty good. 
Am I playing Shadow Spear just to play Shadow Spear? Cycling the spell bomb? I don't think so. This way, if they just spend their turn casting an initiator, we can bounce the initiator to get a basic. Plateau. Swords to plowshares. Because we do not have a blue source, do we? Okay. Swords happens. For a cave of chaos adventure, okay. We're gonna spend our mana now. Basic. Not gonna cycle a spell bomb. Okay, we draw some action. Schmaction. Got a basic plan. Some schmaction, I said. Paint a servant like a boss. This is the deck that I'm also currently building in paper. Deep in the upkeep thinkers, a metallic rebuke. Hurts, but we're just gonna play our spells. Okay, I'm also just gonna draw a card. the next play, we can start Urza Saga-ing. And then eventually Shadow Spear up. No scry. Both on top. Yikes. Ancient Tomb. Simeon Spirit Guide from the Hand, sure. Okay. Go into Stash, make themselves a treasure token. Why do they need a treasure token? It's an interesting choice. Okay, we draw an island. So we'll play the island said we'll play the island. And I'm just gonna main phase this. Create a dude. Equip the dude. A little bit of life gain. Sure they have a lot of creature removal, but um, they'd be able to attack through anyway. Cave of Chaos Adventure. Okay. Here comes the throne. Ten cards were revealed. Palace Jailer, probably gonna be the pickup. They can also Lorraine to kill the Grindstone. They chose Palace Jailer. Okay. And then we take five here. Um. Painter off the top, as long as they don't have disruption, is still lethal. Lethaler? Lethal? Lethal? Um, because we're not going to be able to do anything otherwise. So it's basically we just need a painter savant. There's, uh, there was a Lauren in their hand. Bye-bye, Grindstone. And I think that also means bye-bye, game. Unless they kill Urza Saga. No, they killed the, they killed the Grindstone. OK. 
Okay, we still have an out. We just need to have Painter on the top of our deck. Just need to have and Painter on the top of our deck. Woo! That is a Painter on the top of our deck. Grindstone. Painter Savant. Name Black. Activate. Ooh, top deck arena. Okay, all right, we're 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 chill. We're ch Gah, I can't speak. We're chilling it. We're chilling it. I don't think any changes. Still, I think we're pretty much just where we are. We just gotta just gotta oops our way through this. Game three. Like a boss. <clears throat> Um, sure, this hand's okay. Hand's okay. Alright, I've kept... Will I 143 is thinking about it. Looks like they've kept as well. Alright, so we'll pass through their turn. Planes, then pass. All right, we draw. I said we draw. I would like to draw another friend. Interesting. So Urza's Saga. Bobble. Bobble. Mox. Could just be thought cast here. And then Emery. Thought cast. Opal. I would like to keep the untapped one. Probably just a path, but uh, we are gonna Emery here. Emery resolves. Opal, Force of Will, Force of Will, Urza's Saga. Cast Petal. We'll pass like that. Okay, Sword Splash Airs. Set up our yard a wee bit. Ancient tomb. For an archon. Okay. One spell a turn. Gotcha. Probably gonna just start making Urza's saga tokens. Grindstone, huh? Okay. Pop one bobble here. But I think we want both bobbles for Mox Opal for next turn. Could also try and dig for land. I think I'm gonna do that. That's, that's feel bads. That's feel bads. Didn't find our land, but we're only gonna get one activation anyway because of Lotus Petal. It was gonna land two cards down. All right. Sure. Begins combat.
kill it. Follow up is all right. Lead spellbinder. Choices. Okay. Enlarge in here. Alright. To us. We draw and then make decisions. Draw a force of will. I want to make a buddy, or do I not want to make a buddy? I think I want to make a buddy. Make a friend. We will get... We get another... Grindstone. Then we just have duplicates for sorcery speed situations. Pithing Needle's not going to do much for us. Lotus Petal. <sighs> Lotus Petal would. Excuse me, deck. You're in the way. One, two, three, four, five. Not quite. They have so much like incidental removal that I don't really want to just blow into Shadow Spear. So I think it is just going to be a grindstone. Okay. So we're kinda we're we're a bit soft here. We are a bit soft. Did not have a good time finding our mana. <clears throat> All right. Okay, you have taken the initiative. Find yourself a mountain. Play a chalice on one or something? Plains, okay. Solitude. Yeah, they just have, they just have so much uh, creature removal. Okay. Gain that five life, though. Gain that five life. All right. Take bonk. On the clock. We draw a soul guide lantern. Okay. Let's play an Aether Spellbomb. See what's up over here. Yep, I don't think we're gonna win this one. Arcana of Amiria on the other side. Yeah, their top card's great, our top card's bad. Draw a couple cards. The one we knew about that was bad, and a bobble. We just did not find our mana. That happens though, you know, live by the variance, die by the variance. And uh, today we have died. The variance was not kind to us. You know, we need to basically just draw two cards. <laughs> Um, land this turn into Painter Soul Land. But that doesn't even do it. Okay. I cannot counter your stuff. No matter how badly I want to, Archon. Okay. 
Yeah, we see now our non-basic lands are entering tapped, and most of our lands are non-basic, so it just kind of kind of pushes us the rest of the way down and out. And uh, Painter is cute, but does not do it, I don't think. So we can play Mishra's Bobble, and we can bounce the big pooper, but we can't cast two spells, and this will be, we have to bounce the Seasoned Dungeoneer, we can't just bounce the Emiria. So we cast Mishra's Bobble, see if we even have a shot, another Painter Servant. <laughs> Where's my lands? <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure we don't have an out here. We'll double check it. We'll double check it. We'll, uh, we're not dead quite yet. Pretty, pretty sure we're dead here. Because Soul Land to play Painter, probably not even gonna have to. The five from Trap, yeah, we're dead. Yeah, we're dead. All right, GG's. That is the deck that I'm uh, working on building though. I do, I do very much like the deck and I've, I've played it a few times. Good, strong deck. All right, match four, let's do it. All right, match four time against Tish. And uh, won the die roll. Have not done that, I don't think, so far. We will go first, yes. All right, opener is... Turn one, Emery. That's, that's okay. And then start Urza saga yeeing things. Double check here, bingo, bingo, no bingo. So yeah, bingo, bingo. La bingo. <clears throat> Once upon a time, okay. Interesting. Polluted Delta. Ooh, is this the Alluring deck again? Well, again for me, from a different league. <laughs> Y'all didn't see it, but I play I played before this league. Alright, like Grainstone Resolve. Emery. To Pithing Needle, Lotus Petal, Seat of the Synod. Is this cast again? Casts. Yeah, so we cannot play our seat. But we do have Lotus Petal Pithing Needle at our disposal. Cool. We can start grindstoning ourselves if we really want to to try and dig for our friend. Polluted Delta. Okay, back to me. Uh, they'll crack in response to the pith. I can pedal. Probably do that. Back our pedal. Cast the pedal. Cast a bobble. Urza's Saga. And then one, two, three, four. Math. You cost three. One, two, three. Yeah. Or you cost two? Two. I'm bad at math. Draw up cards. Another Emery to dig a little deeper. Uh, yeah. I play that game. Emery? I'll keep this one. We dig. Painter? Not yet. Okay. Pass turn. Do I want to draw a card? I think so. Let's see what you're up to. Brainstorm. Alright. They fetch. Trump. Okay. Looking like a Lurin. It's 
Spire. Sure. Underground C. Yep, Alluren. Nice to see Alluren coming in. Alluren is a very fun deck. I do enjoy it. A bobble is the draw. Do we want to get Shadow Spia? Or do we want to just recast our Thought Monitor from the yard? I think we just want to recast our Thought Monitor from the yard. Right, let's go to combat. Attack. Cool. Uh, we will go ahead and play Bobble. Uh, Spire of Industry, yes. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, so it costs two. And we still have enough to activate Urza's Saga. Or bounce with Ottawara if we need to bounce with Ottawara. I miscounted because this is an artifact, correct. Uh, let's just go all in here at that point. Thought cast. Friend. Activate Emery. Mox. Opel. Cast Mox Opel. Keep this one. Draw a couple more cards. Cast pedal. Cast pedal. Okay. Redrawn. Endurance. Okay. A giant construct token. Versus Endurance. Metallic Rebuke. Ready for action. Vista. Okay. Passes. Sure. Alright. We will draw. Seat of the Cyanide from our Bobble. Then for turn, we draw an island. And now we have Urza's Saga. Decisions to make. Pithing Needle's already in the yard, so we can't <laughs> Pithing Needle the Prismatic Vista on gotcha value. I think it's a dude. Make a duder. Grab a piece. We'll grab... Haywire Might. We'll play our Seat of the Cyanide. <laughs> and then we will go to combat. Uh, play something first. Play Shadow Spear, equip Shadow Spear? Still have Metallic Rebuke up. Yeah. Choose Shadow Spear.
Endurance. I think if they Endurance here, I'm fine with it. Yeah, I, I'm just fine with this Endurance. It's okay. We'll go to combat here. So we'll go to combat here. Do I want to Ottawara bounce Strix? We got one, two, three, four mana up. This costs three. We bounce the Strix. They just replay the Strix. Can counter the Strix and keep smacking, otherwise we lose a construct here. I'm okay with that actually. I'm just gonna pass. We can leave up counter magic here, and on their end step, we can bounce the Strix so that they can only block one construct token. If they play Alluren, we can metallic rebuke the Alluren, and then we can go for an alpha strike. I like that. I like that. And then if they counter back, the Metallic Rebuke, then we can Haywire my Okay. But otherwise, not attacking there, I think, is probably optimal. Uro, huh? Affects the math a little bit. Okay. Step. All right, we're going to Ottawara the Strix. Okay. Back to us. We'll go Mishra's Bobble. the pedal. I'm just like misclicking like crazy there. All right, um, construct, construct, thought monitor, thought monitor, bonk. Take a hefty chonk. Replay here. Um, play the island. All right, we will Mishra's bobble you. Let's see what we're drawing here. Ice Fang Quaddle. Okay, I'm feeling pretty good here. We could have our opponent at two, which is actually relevant. MTG always hard. Okay. Ooh, and the painter. Alright, so we got we got stacks on stacks. Backup plans for days. So if they want to Uro, they can just Uro. Um, fairly lethal board. They have a full knit. They got they got a full grip. Full grip of cards. Have a little drinky drink here. <sighs> See what their play is. Okay, basic island of the snowy variety. Alluring. All right, well we will start with the attempted Countering of that. OK. 
Counter lets you pay three. You have two mana chill in there. Almost positive your deck does not play Elvish Spirit Guide. Does play some form of counter magic. Force of Will pitching Baleful Strix. Okay. Sure. Patient with it. We're gonna just go Ancient Tomb straight into now. Now we can actually do it instant speed. Oh, okay. I'll keep the one that can activate this turn. Thought Monitor. Let's play our Thought Monitor. Endurance. Sure. Okay. I'm just gonna go for it. Here's, uh, here's the play. I'm gonna Haywire Might Alluren. And if they attempt to go for it in response, we go for it in response. Ice Fang Quaddle. Painter Servant. Playing against a Lurin combo. Pretty fun, pretty fun. Um, could bring in Force of Negations. Those are fine in this matchup. Um, Containment Priest also stops the combo. So those are kind of what we're looking at. I don't think we're doing Dismember things. Dismember can disrupt, but I don't think that's like the best plan. We just want to counter Aluren and make it so our opponent can't do things. Um, Spellbomb doesn't really do it. Uh, Haywire Might's fine. Pithing Needle doesn't really do anything. Uh, I don't really care about their graveyard. They can Uro, but I think that's not the direction we care to go with. Um, in a similar fashion, Shadow Spear probably doesn't matter much either. And then we just have one more cut to make. That will be... Uh, actually, one second, actually. My, my brain might have uh, flubbed here. Double check the wording on Aluren. Uh, Containment Priest actually doesn't stop Aluren, my bad. It is, it is still a cast. It is still a cast. So that gives us a little bit of uh, play, like maybe a dismember. Because if we dismember Aserac in response to its bounce back, that works. Yeah, I like that. And is there any other thing that I would want to do? Um, no, I think that's good. We can uh, we can submit like that. So one one little clutch little dismember piece for a little extra action. And then we just got a bunch of hate. Now, notably in this deck, our blue spell count is mid, but we have Painter, so we can just name blue. All right, this is a turn one Emery. Yes, we'll try this. Verdant, Verdant Crackies. Do 
to find. Underground C, ponder. Sure. And I'm gonna play the Urza Saga here. We're gambling a tinge bit on uh, Emery living, but um, it's, a, it's a gamble I'm willing to make. Oh, or we just draw an ancient tomb like a Baus. All right, does that change anything? Don't think so. So Urza Saga, yes. Cast Petal. Cast Emery because it only costs two. Little affinity trick there. You announce your costs before you pay it. Um, no hits. I guess Lotus Petal is what we got. We, force of Will, Force of Negation, and two other Emerys is what hit the bin. Would have would, would have been fine drawing either of those forces, but binning the other Emerys is okay. We got Dismember to kind of stop the combo when the time comes. Otherwise, we're just Urza Saga. Ing, 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 ing. Snuff. That's fine. Snuff out. Okay, we we'll go to me. Um, I would say okay. Play an Ancient Tomb. Pass the turn. Start doing Urza's Saga things. The deck is full of just death-touching chumper dumpers, so... They do have that. Trop Island. Speaking of... It doesn't have death touch yet. It does not have death touch yet. Baleful Strix. There's a Death Toucher. Needle to the end step here. Third land. Okay. Sure. Can mitigate the Death Touch thing by uh, getting our Shadow Spear. But it's probably right just to get Grindstone. Let's we'll see what we draw here. It's also probably right to get Petal. Ponder chooses not to shuffle. All right then, ends the turn. All right, let's make a friend. Right. We will draw, draw Thought Cast. Do, 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 do. Well, I think we are making a construct. Let's go ahead and do that. And I think it's Mox Opal here. Three artifacts, so we wouldn't really be able to thought cast and leave up rebuke, but we would be able to attack here and leave up rebuke. Trade a Strix away and just kind of clean the board up a little bit. Screw that or just get a grindstone and work towards stuff, but I think we want mana to get Mox Opal. Go to combat. Pop. Yep. It is correct to block there. 
We will need an Uro to get the other two snow basic thingies or whatever. Notably, we did not turn off our Mox Opal there because we can just improvise it. Okay. Snow covered forest. Ponder. Sure. It says if everything has a form of inf affinity. Okay. Long match so far. Have to be a little extra careful on the clock here. No attacks. Ends the turn. Sure. Okay, another Spire of Industry. So we'll go Spire of Industry. Um, one, two, three, four, five. So we can Thought Cast here. Draw a couple cards. Good old fashioned three mana draw to divination. Casual divination. Huh. All right, so we don't have extra mana here because of the legend rule. This is not able to tap for mana just as yet. So we're going to hold here. We got counter magic up. Let's attack and see what happens. I'm not gonna attack into endurance actually. No attacks. That's why we also get to leave up metallic rebuke. Seems very, very much like an endurance. Surgical Urza's Saga. That's fine. Like, I mean, that's annoying, but we don't need Urza's Saga. Alright, they found them all. They pay the life, too, instead of just casting. I think that means they're gonna flash an Endurance. Flash in Endurance. Do we care? I don't think so. I think that's fine. Nothing in our graveyard's like that fantastic for Emery's sake. Um, this is more so just a threat for them. Like we're losing a pedal. Oh, they choose not to shuffle. Interesting. Cat. Was a decision of all time. Combat has begun. I attack for three. All right, the race is on. No blocks. Play land and pass. Draw another force of will. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we could tap down, play a thought monitor. That's probably what we're gonna end up doing here. Ow. Oh wait. Right. Cannot Mox Opal here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eh. We're just like just slightly behind the eight ball here. We can just remember Endurance here. the cost of two life. So 
would be four life so that we can leave up Metallic Rebuke, but I don't think we need to leave up Metallic Rebuke now that we got all of these Force of Wills. So does that mean we attack for two? attack for two here. If they want to trade their quaddle for it, they can. Awkward lines. Awkward, awkward lines. Managed to not draw our little artifacts. Okay. Get our little chip damage in. Brainstorm. Brainstorm's fine. I'm not gonna counter that. Too much counting. Fetches? Sure. Sculpt a bit there. Upgrade the hand. Once upon a time, sure. Probably finds Uro. Haven't seen one yet. They're digging extra deep in there. Ice Fang. I mean, it's something that can cast this turn. That is also fine. There's the Uro. Okay. Uro's gonna happen. Probably gonna be going to game three. Combat has begun. some semblance of a life total. Alright. We'll go to five. Leave one ice quaddle back. A baleful strix. Sure. Misty Raid for us. Okay. We draw a Alright, we'll pack it in there. Let's go to game three. Gotta have some amount of time left on our clock, uh, but we didn't want to take a looky-loo. Uh, no changes, so we'll just go ahead and submit deck as is. Have another sip of our Dr. Pepper. Going to game threes! We're going to game threes. Long video. <laughs> Long video. O3s better than O3s. O3s are garbage. Going to game three is better than getting O2'd. That's uh that's the that's the nugget. It means you're closer. Alright. Good ol' Alluren combo. That is a that is a deck that we will be playing on stream here relatively soon. Not this week. Maybe next week. But he's got that deck in paper, so I've, uh, I've played it quite a bit. Played against it, played with it. All right, we get to go first. Yes, I'd like to go first. Um, it's a turn one thought cast. Yes, we'll keep to draw a bunch of cards. Bobble, Misha's Bobble, O2 
Lotus Petal. Mishra's Bobble. Thoughtcast. Rebuke a Petal. Thoughtcast. Thought Monitor. One, two, three, four, not quiet. All right, we will pause there. Metallic Rebuke at the ready. We can pop one here, see what they're about to draw. A Misty Rainforest, okay. Vista, Crackies. Snow covered Island, ponder. Okay. Tish deciding with the ponder. We shuffle in. Typically, when we think this long, we're not shuffling, we are ordering. Does not necessarily mean that all three cards are fantastic. Could mean they're setting up for a uh, fetch shuffle. Uh, chooses not to shuffle, of course. And the turn. Yeah, let me, we'll keep these bobbles in play for infinity's sake. All right, we'll draw off the first bobble. Opal monitor. All right, so we'll cast Opal. Cast, cast, play Spire of Industry. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Undo, all right, cast. One, two, three. There is the thought monitor. Draw a couple cards. Force of Will, Cita Synod. All right, sure. Uh, already played my land for turn, so let's go ahead and pass. Uh, do we want to draw an additional card? Now we have an artifact land to help our thought monitor. And we can still use this with the Lotus Petal for a Metallic Rebuke. I think so. Sculpt, sculpt, sculpt. All right, more counter magic. If they play the Misty Rainforest, and they're gonna do an end step brainstorm fetch. Ooh. All right. Seat of the Cyanod. We'll start with Emery. Find us some action here. They got a full mitt, so that could be uh, could be a force of will. We will fight. We will fight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll have one mana up and multiple artifacts that we can tap for metallic rebuke. So we can Metallic Rebuke and still cast Thought Monitor, leave up Force of Will. Six minutes left on our clock, so we are gonna have to actually be <laughs> continually reminding myself. It's gonna be a little bit quicker. So if the uh, commentary goes down, that is why. I'm gonna focus on uh, not clocking out here. We have plenty of time to think. We'll mill. Uh, there's Painter, so we can work our way towards that. Blue, I'm colorless, uh, Thought Monitor. Draw a couple cards. Cast the Bobble, go to combat. Be 
quick with the timer. Yeah, we're not gonna count to the brainstorm. And then dig, dig, dig. Looking for a pedal, not a pedal. <laughs> Uh, grindstone off the top, we could, I believe, one, two, one, close. Okay. Snow covered forest. Tropical island. you channeler that's cool right. we draw for bobble endurance um to play my painter. I draw a couple cards, pedal, painter savant, cast painter savant. blue to make their force of wills better. The force of wills are already relatively good. Red certainly looks kind of cool. Alluren. Right, we will counter that. Blue. of will, pitching ice fang portal, we will force of will alluren, pitching force of will. Okay. Alright, we draw. Is there anything we want to replay? Not that's worth the damage. Mishra's Bobble You, Ice Fang Quaddle, uh, Seat of the Cyanide, and pass the turn. Draw with our Bobble. Okay. Four minutes left on the clock. Turbo mode here. Played the Blainstorm. We have lethal on board through one blocker. Through two blockers, we can nudge. Um, Uro, it's annoying. Gains them some life, buys them some time. All we have to do is just draw a grindstone. Okay, for us, we draw. Okay, Pluto Delta, we fetch in our upkeep. Snow covered island. 
Ice Fang Quaddle, sure. So they can get Clock Equity, that's fair. Force of Will. And we'll cast Mox Opal. Keep this one. Um, we will go to combat. Attack with our flyers. Chooses not to block. Makes sense. Um, we can Emery. Pack a Mishra's Bobble to draw some extra cards. I think that's what we're gonna do. Come back Misha's Bobble, cast Misha's Bobble. Target you. Harpy, okay. Pass their turn. Okay, if they spend their time. Ooh, there's the grindstone. Okay, alright, we have we have some plays here. I think they have to fight this force of will if they can, because otherwise they're just dead on board to damage. So we will force a will. Counter arrow. Three minutes left on the clock. Boyo managed to scrape one through. We had the grindstone on the back up there to just force through, but we just got there in the air. Air Force takes it down. All right, we're two and two. On to the last one. See y'all there. Okay. Back here with the match five, the final match. We won the die roll. Yes, I would like to go first. Um, This hand could be a goldfish. Let's keep it. Got backup painter. Urza Saga. Okay. And probably just gonna turn one a painter here. Am I? No, we're not gonna turn one a painter here. We'll cast our petals. Oh, we can turn two painter into turn three grindstone got there. With a backup painter in hand if they kill our painter. Green smile. Plays the forest. Flavor. Mox diamond, sure. So their turbo deck versus our turbo deck. Okay. Sylvan library, cool. They'll get to dig for some goodies. They'll get to dig for some goodies. We draw. Shadow Spear. Land. Painter Servant. I'm gonna name Blue. And would not behoove us to cast another Painter Servant, because right now we're face up to get there. We just need uh, to fade some uh, fade some hate. Wasteland's a problem. Artifact destruction is a problem. Wasteland is most likely to be our demise, because they have several different ways to search it up. Pays the life. Pays the life. Rashadden port. So kind of place. Don't think that exactly does it. Green smiles in the second man. We win! Yay! They see it. Okay. Playing against lands. Playing against lands. Ah. Not a 
lot of crazy stuff. We can Chalice the Void on one. I don't think we're dismembering. Containment Priest does not quite work. Could name Red with Painter? <laughs> um, we might bring this in game three if we decide they're on... Uh... Well, not if we decide. If we, if we see that they're actually just playing the red variant. Playing some Minskin Boo. We want to bring in the Kappa Cannoneer Surprise. Alright, those are the, those are the speculative four. Force Negation's also fine. Against like the crop rotation plans. Um, they're probably better than the Metallic Rebukes. Put on the Metallic Rebukes, and then maybe we don't bring in Chalice of the Void. Now let's see what's bad. Pithy Needle's good, Haywire Might is medium? I see going down Haywire Might. Soul Guide Lantern's pretty good. Shadow Spear is a tinge indifferent. So the question is, do we want Kappa Cannoneer or do we want Chalice of the Voids? I think we want Kappa Cannoneers. We're most likely gonna have to cast our uh, Grindstones due to Wasteland. Uh, turn one Emery. Sure. Alright, F6. Sega. Okay. Pithing Needle on. Just on Grindstone. Sure. Hello, Haywire Mite. Okay. Upkeep stop. Relog? What does that mean? I don't know what that means! I guess they're having a, a slight delay, so they're closing out and reopening. Sure. The relog. This is the part of the stream where we plug again. I am on Patreon, I am on Twitch, and you're already here on YouTube. Check out all of my thingamaboobers. I'll have links to everything in the description below. Alright, so there is Lay Painter. Uh, we're gonna go see the Cyanide, uh, Lotus Petal, Emery. Kappa Cannoneer, cool. That's the direction we'll be heading towards. Since our uh, main plan has been pithed, we get to go the Kappa plan. Click on through. I guess, of course, they could get another pithing needle and name Emery. One, two, three, four. Wooded Foothills. Maybe, maybe, maybe they are the Naya plan. Booble? Booble plays. Booble plays. So, Ancient Tomb, Mishra's Bobble. One, two, three, four. 
One, two, three. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so we can play a spell bomb. Then we can play Thought Monitor. Okay. And Grindstone is turned off. So we'll just play Lotus Petal. Cast. And then a Thought Cast. Wait, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we'll just Thought Cast. Thought Cast. Ooh, another Lotus Petal. I think we're just playing grindstone here. Alright. Call that a turn. So next turn, if they don't pithing needle Emery, we will cap a cannon here. And then I guess start clocking them. Floats the mana. Finds Mox Diamond. Okay. So they do not have the second Pithy Needle. Um, graveyard Hate would be annoying. Ooh! Spicy. Fetchland? Wasteland. Okay. Into an Expedition Map. Alright. Plays the Expedition Map. Deal. So they are doing some slightly red things. I'll draw Painter's Savant. Okay, where's the sagas happening? Kappa Cannoneer's coming in. Sans Endurance stopping Kappa Cannoneer, of course. Cast Kappa Cannon here. One, two, three, four, five, six. There is a Kappa. It's a counter. Go to combat. going here. They get to Expedition Map here. Uh, yeah, this can be tapped, so we can still bounce Dark Depths. So that doesn't have to be a problem. Wasteland's probably going to eat our Urza Saga before things get too crazy. That's being stage. Cool. Taiga. Alright, so we can bring in the Blue Elemental Blast. Digs for a land. The land they're going to find is... Maze of Ith. Okay. Sure. We take a little point of damage there. We'll go to our turn. Okay, upkeep. Draw. This happens. Okay. So we'll go Opal. Grow our Cannoneer. Um, Thought Monitor. Grow our Cannoneer. Force of Will. That's mighty nice. Grow the Kappa Cannoneer. Uh, Ancient Tomb. Painter Savant. We'll name blue, so now we can pitch to Force of Will. We'll make a Duder. Grow Kappa Cannoneer. Make a 10-10. 
then we'll go to combat. Ah, no, we can. They don't want to see it! We don't want to see it! <laughs> Alright, I'll see y'all in the wrap-up. Nice. Okay, final thoughts on the deck. I really like it. I, I thoroughly enjoy the two different avenues you can take the deck, whether you want to go the eight cast side with Urza's Saga, just beat down constructs, the ability to bring in a couple Kappa Cannoneers, um, or to have the Oops I Win, Painter Servant grinding uh, Goldfish win. Uh, this deck seems pretty strong. I'm definitely gonna tweak it a little bit more. Uh, I would like to try and sculpt the sideboard to more of my liking, but uh, I think that this deck is uh, pretty pretty well seated. So that's uh, pretty much the list. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me here on YouTube's and on the Twitch. And uh, hope to catch you live someday. So thank you so much for stopping by. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Why am I switching to this? Hey, this is what the stream screen looks like. All right, bye.